Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Well, as you can see, we're outdoors with this brand new Jackery 80 watt dual sided, not bifacial, dual sided solar panel. Check that out. It's a good looking panel, I gotta tell you. They make it pretty darn strong. And you know what? It's got reflectors in the front and reflectors in the back. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and check this out. And we're going to connect it to other power stations other than Jackery. How do we do that? Well, I guess you'll find out. Let's get started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. And there it is. Now, I didn't take it out of the carry bag, okay? But this bag isn't just a bag. You'll actually use this to actually get that dual-sided action. So let me go ahead and just open this up. All right, real quick, I just wanted to show you the packaging. You could see they packaged this thing really well. I'm going to open it up and show you the foam. But look at the foam, how thick this is. Pretty good stuff. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, let me zoom out as much as I can. But we'll go ahead and open this up. Uh, I got some durable edges there. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. I like the black and orange, I have to tell you. I like green, too. You probably already know on the channel. So let's go ahead and open this up. And uh, look at that. So you've got this uh, holding on to the back of the panel. All right. Now, again, we're going to have to learn a little bit beforehand, but we're just cracking this open so you can see it. But this looks like that reflective material material that will, um, and it is a little stiffer, so it's stiffer in the back, and it is softer on the front. Interesting. So that could probably help in the front, and that can probably help in the back. So here it is. I just opened it up. So this actually has a kickstand back here and then this kind of hangs on here with some velcro to reflect the sun onto the back glass by the way all right so it's pretty darn interesting i'll tell you here is jackery's cord and we'll play with this don't worry about it i know what you're thinking but we're gonna play around with this but yeah so take a good look at this here as you can see how you could use this whole thing to reflect in the front and the back, but definitely on the back, right? So you got these uh, really rugged corners um, here, which is really nice. And again, another look on this side. Now the nice part about this kickstand in the back here is you can angle it. So let me show you, you've got this angle, and let me show you the next, I mean really you can angle it any way you want, but I'm going to lay it all the way down. So as you can see, I laid it all the way down. It, it looks like it can go down further, obviously I'm keeping it on the case, but uh, that's not bad, that's a nice angle there. Again, we're going to play with this, we're going to see how well it performs. It's not going to be today because we don't really have any more sun. So we want to do it when we have a lot of sun. But uh, yeah, so far, pretty darn cool. This is what the solar panel looks like without the bag. So that's as far back as it goes. Okay. So I'll show you that angle. It's not bad.
Again, here's the bag, and uh, there was a pouch, and in this pouch was an extension cable with an adapter and uh, the user guide as well. Again, a little stiff in the back, not that stiff, but a little stiff in the back, definitely soft in the front. So this part is in the front, that's in the back. This is kind of what you use to go on the solar panel handle. And uh, let's take a look at the solar panel. Let's go over some specs. All right, so let's get back to some specs. And by the way, this is glass, okay? Um, and that's probably why it's definitely in a durable frame. So that's a really good idea. So let's go over some specs. First off, cost-wise, this sells for $249. It's an 80-watt panel. And uh, with the dual-sided, this is the first one I've seen that's dual-sided. Um, it's IP68, so it's water and dust proof. The open circuit voltage is 28.5 volts. And the short circuit uh, current is 3.71. Now, this weighs 11.2 pounds. And with the bag, they say it weighs 14.3. So that's interesting. I didn't think the bag that was that heavy. It does come with a three-year warranty, which is a really good warranty. And again, the big deal here is this is dual-sided. So they say it'll increase the solar power by 25%. So I guess we'll have to find that out. All right, now that you saw the panel, before we do any testing, I want to go over connections real quick because I want to give you the opportunity to connect this panel to any power station, right, via MC4, which is the solar connection on one side, or if you have an EcoFlow uh, power station, you can use the XT60 cable I'm about to show you. Now, this is the new connector they use on their newer power stations. Uh, it's known as a DC8020, okay? And it looks very similar to their old one, which is the DC7909. So this cable is an extension cable, and it'll connect right in here, right? You just plug it right in. And you can use it as a DC8020 cable, but if you need to convert this, for some of the older power stations, right, from Jackery. Um, you know, like you just put this on top and you've now converted a DC8020 to a DC7909, which is for their older power stations. Now, I do have cables that work with DC7909 that we'll be able to convert to MC4 and we'll be able to convert to XT60. So let me go ahead and show you that now. So the first cable I'm going to show you is a female DC7909. And what it'll do is it'll use Jackery's old adapter for their old power stations that comes with, you know, this panel, by the way. So you just do that, and the next thing you know, you now have an XT60, which we can connect to, you know, the River 2, for instance. Let's show you that. So this is the back of the EcoFlow River 2. As you can see, there's an XT60, like on uh, all of the EcoFlow power stations. And, you know, this is now going to simply connect here. All right, slides right in. Very uh, stable connection. And what's nice is we're going to do a test in a little while using this cable. But, you know, if if you're familiar with EcoFlow, they, they also give you another cable, right? The cable they include is the XT60 to MC4. Now this is kind of standard when you're connecting to a solar panel. In most cases, not in Jackery's because they use that proprietary cable there. But this would connect to the back of the River 2 and then you would have this. Well, let's just say you want a cable that's going to convert. DC7909 to MC4. Well, we've got that cable here. It's basically a female DC7909. Plugs right in, and you've just connected it directly to MC4. And now that you have MC4s, right, you can now connect, you know, your power station to the Jackery solar panel. So you've got two options, right? 
if you've got the you know a EcoFlow power station you can use this cable or if you have another power station you can use this cable let's go ahead and do a test using the uh, River 2 to see what we get out of this solar panel the Jackery has a specific type connector here as you can see and that won't work so Jackery in this package with this solar panel gives you this cable that actually converts so we're going to convert this all right so it's going to just plug into here and they look very similar as far as barrel plugs but this is definitely different as you can see and that works with the cable we got so we went out and got a cable that converts that to XT60 and all we're gonna do is connect this all right boom like that tuck this uh, behind the panel a little bit so when you know we need that sunlight to come through the back the reflective right and now all we do is we plug in the XT60 to the EcoFlow and let's check out what type of wattage we're getting once we do that all right let me put this right here let's see what we're getting guys we're getting 77 watts out of an 80 watt panel that's insanity now don't forget it is 47 degrees out so being cooler definitely helps you know obviously the panel perform because as the panel gets hot it doesn't perform as well but look the back of the panel is getting some of that reflection and uh, that's pretty cool you know to be able to see 77 76 watts coming in that's wonderful that's I mean it, this panel this is a $250 panel but um, you know it's a glass panel it's rugged it's got these nice corners which is nice So hopefully you saw we were receiving 77 watts out of a 80 watt panel. Now one of the things that's important is the angle of your panel. And we use a solar angle guide. And uh, this guide here, as you can see, there's a little black dot in the middle. And what you want to do is you want to get that shadow into the center, telling you not too high, not too low, but in the center, telling you you've got the right angle. And that's what we did earlier. So let me just show you this real quick. So you just take this, and you don't need to mount it or nothing, really. I just take this with my hand. I lay it on the panel. And you could see here, if I could move the shadows of my devices and myself, that as we move and take a look at that, look at the shadow and where the dot is. I mean, that's pretty amazing, right? The dot on the left side is the shadow. So that tells us we've got almost a perfect angle on the solar panel guys we'll put this in the description these are real helpful it's very inexpensive and i'm impressed so far with this panel i really am all right guys so we're inside because it's raining and uh brooklyn and i like this solar panel we really do it's made really well and and for 250 bucks it's it's kind of the right price point for this product you know look what they did here i mean they just made this such a solid panel you know we use this for about a week and a half we like the handle we like the bag we really do i think um the only thing we didn't like is i would have liked this to be stiffer you know because i just felt it gonna get flimsy from time to time and and i really need this to be stiff so it can actually you know help the back of the panel with that additional solar Again, it performed well. I'm just worried long term. All right. Um, you know, hopefully you saw that we have an XT60 cable that you can pick up and an MC4 cable to pick up if you want to use this Jackery panel with your solar, you know, power station or whatever, however you're going to connect it. But get watch the first part of the video for that because it's a little tricky with the way Jackery does that connector in the back. Don't forget about the angle finder this is really helpful it's like 20 bucks it's worth every penny and that's it guys brooklyn and i both like this right brooklyn hey guys take a moment and give us a thumbs up we really appreciate it as you can see brooklyn she's waving her tail for you take a moment and subscribe 
Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.